have known this film for so many years. It has been so instrumental in my understanding of queer culture, in my coming out, and I loved it. And so when I knew that there was a musical adaptation of The Cheerleader, I just knew I had to be involved, to be honest. It's inspirational to be doing such an incredible show that was such an iconic film with an incredible cast. We had RuPaul, uh, Michelle Williams, Natasha Leone, and we've got amazing people in our cast as well. So uh, it's just lifting it to a new level and I couldn't be more excited. I'm very honored that this is the first original musical to come out of MT Fest into a full production at the Turbine Theatre. The Turbine has established itself as one of the leading theatres in the UK to develop new pieces of music theatre and I think that it's really great testament to Paul Taylor Mills and everyone at the Turbine's passion um, that this piece has got it to this stage. My most favourite thing in the world is original material and being able to play with that and explore it and just you know put your own stamp on something and this musical is so important it's such an important story to tell so to be a part of that originality and and put it out into the world i feel very blessed i have been so lucky to work on a whole bunch of new musicals but to get to be part of something from its early days at the mt fest at any festival where new work is developed is the dream especially a show like this where representation is so important and i can i still can't understand how it's taken so long to get here it's just so exciting to do but also it's important to show that even though the movie was made so many years ago these problems still exist and conversion like therapy is still legal in this country but there's also this habit in queer like entertainment of like tragedy and i think the movie was made specifically to give a queer love story, a happy ending, and I still feel that that's lacking. So I think it is the, my favourite kind of queer representation is joyful representation. It's really great to be in a space where I do feel authentically me. I feel like I can be me without judgement, and I just wish more spaces could feel like that for everyone. Uh, for me to have had the opportunity to come and see a show like this when I was a teenager would have been life-changing. I think it's really exciting being a part of something original, something queer, and in a venue like the Turbine as well. To be on a new musical, it is thrilling. I, I've, I'm very excited to show everyone what we've been working on and to experience something which is new to everyone. It's just, it's great. The past year and a half, especially for the arts industry, has just been awful, really horrendous, with little to no support from most organisations. So to be able to come back and, and do this show now is uh, beyond words. I mean, the, the Turbine Theatre is such an incredible, powerful vehicle of new theatre, and the chance to work in something like this as well, which is an iconic piece of film, now coming to life, getting its legs as a stage musical is just, it's just iconic, isn't it? It's brilliant. I think it's such a vibrant show, and especially in these times, it's just great to be a part of such a vibrant community back in London, theatre's open, and it's here for everyone, which I think is the main message, which I think Paul is really passionate about telling and that we're all really excited to get a hold of. This is my, this is my everything. This is what I love, adore, and this is the kind of thing that I want to see. It's the kind of things my friends want to see. So it's so good to be able to shout from the rooftops about this and have so many people come into this world and feel safe and accepted and loved. 17 years now.